Hi guys, here's another new video. This one answers another question. The question was how to set up a table format in InView. So I'm starting with a blank slate today. And the first thing I'm going to do is format the page. So we'll click on format. And I'm going to go to colors and background. And I'm going to use a custom color on the background and I'm going to go with blue and OK now we're ready to start our table layout so we're going to insert a table I'm going to click on advanced edit <coughs> I'm going to set up the table background color of white. And then I'm going to try to set the width at 640 pixels. I haven't been able to make this work yet. We'll try it again. And then I want a single cell, like so. Yeah, see it didn't give me what I wanted. So click on the table and narrow it down. Oops, too much. Too much again. We'll go with that, 646. Now I forgot something I wanted to do on this table, so I'm going to go to Table Cell Properties. And I'm going to click the Table tab. And on the Table Alignment, I want it centered. Okay. So now this will be our main table. And now I want to insert another table. This is going to be a single cell table. This will be for our main header at the table. And I'm going to insert another table. I want it to be a two cell table. That's where our main content will go. And I'm going to insert one more table. And it's going to be a one cell and that will be our footer so now we have our our layout so I'm going to click in here and we'll start putting our page together so I'm going to insert an image here and I need to locate it so I'm going to browse my hard drive I've already got picked out what I want. Just getting to it. Okay, this is our header image. We need to change the dimensions to 640. Okay, then I'm going to add a image here as well. Browsing the hard drive again. Again, I previously decided what picture I wanted. And give this alternate text and change its dimensions to K. 
Okay. And then here, we'll add some text. We wanted to do it in a paragraph. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to a times font. And uh, let's see, this is a site about binoculars and oops, magnifying glasses. And then just to fill this in a little bit, we need to, oops, I want a period there. Copy this. And then I'm going to paste it in a few times. Okay. And then I want to change this a little bit. So I'm going to go to Table Cell Properties. You can see here the vertical alignment is in the middle for this cell. And I want to change that to the top. See it moved it up to the top. Then I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it in a couple of more times here. come down here and copyright info 2007 and that is our site in a table layout we'll click preview Oh, I see something we need to fix. See how these borders are showing up? We don't want those. We only want those in the main table that everything sits in. So we're going to go to Table Cell Properties. We're going to do Table and on the border, change that to a zero. We're going to do the same thing in this table. Zero. And same thing here. Okay, now everything looks better. Got rid of all those borders everywhere. Much nicer. We can come in here, right Yeah. We'll put in a headline. There it is. We are done. Very nice.